Hello and welcome to Cat's Cottage. I've got a quick tip and it's about story and it's uh, the way my, my mother taught me and the way she did. She taught me by me watching her. Uh, but anyway, uh, I always store things if I can in the uh, jars uh, sealed up uh, to keep them from the bugs getting in or rodents getting in or whatever they're not much going to get into a glass jar unless you don't seal the lid now the first bit of these i got these years ago i got about six or seven of these from uh, ikea didn't pay much for them but i put different flowers in them i put any well you put anything in them and they have they open up they seal down really tight and they have this rubber rim around and you just lock them back down and they fit in your cabinet or on your counter or wherever you keep them and now this uh okay i've got another one that i've had a really long time and uh, i've got a full set of these uh in this one i have uh, italian breadcrumbs but it has the same seal it's sealed down tight, and uh, I've used these. I can't tell you how many years that I've had all this. And then the next group is, um, now this has a rubber seal already on the outside. You need to be real careful. You can use this for liquid or dry seeds, whatever you want to use it for. Make sure it's sealed all down. And... Uh, it's the same thing. It's a glass jar. You can put liquid in it and you can use it in your refrigerator. Okay. And then here's another one. I've got a bunch of them. This one's raisins. I don't like to open a box of raisins and then try to seal it up and put it in the cabinet because it's got all that sweetness in the, on that box. And uh, this, this puts a stop to it. No ants. No, no critters are going to get to this. Okay, I'll move those out of the way. I'm probably going to have to go around the table working. This one here is, is plastic, and I don't, I don't know how I came across this one. I didn't buy it. Uh, now, it, it, well, excuse me. I just put these in there. Normally, I don't leave them in their package, but I left them in the package this time because this is plastic. Now, I'll show you what I mean by really sealing them up. And this one does need that extra seal. This is what my mother used. You use what you have to, but this is what my mother used, was wax paper. She took a little wax paper. And just, it's no big deal. No special way of doing it. Lay it across the top, press it down, and then put the lid back on. Now, that's a tight seal right there. Okay? Now, I'll just move on around the table and we'll go around. Uh, make sure you can still see the table. Okay. Now, I just got these at a Salvation Army. And I really like them. I think it was a whole set, but I only was able to get two. So, this is not good enough right there. Even though that's a rubber seal, that's just not good enough. It's too loose. So, you're going to take a wax paper, fold it in half. You won't use one side because it, it, it'll, it'll just rip. You just fold it in half and use the whole piece and then press down. If you don't like that showing, you can cut it off. Okay, let's do the next one. See how easy that was to come off? Okay. Now, these I haven't had very long. Now I want to show you something I've had a long time. I can't tell you how old these are. 
uh, when my kids were babies, when, before my kids were born, uh, I had these in the little chair. Now, these are quality pickles. This is a pickle jar. Now, what's in it is sugar. We don't want ants coming. We don't want any of that. We don't want none of that getting loose. And now a lot of times I keep a, a dipper in this. I keep a dipper in my anything that's powdery like that. Now see here, I've got an old liner. See, that one is about 30 years old, but that's, that's the way it looks after a while. Turn it down. There it is. Okay, this is tea. I don't know what was in there. Who knows? Probably pickles, too. Okay. Now, this is just a small uh, jar. It's really tight. It's got a full top on it. It's not you know, seal and that. I've got bay leaves in here for making soup. Okay. This is the next one. I'm not sure how I got this one, but you can buy these taller. And See, that's it's too loose. As a matter of fact, the little seal is there, but it's, it's not very good. So, we're going to make another one. There we go. That looks good. Now, here's another one. Oh, this is part of that other set I was telling you about. Okay. We're going to add another seal on that one. That one seems to be wearing out. See, that's just as simple as you go. Now, let me walk back around over here. I'll walk this way and show y'all this side instead of dragging all that stuff over there. Okay. Here we go. Now, I got these recently at uh, Salvation Army. And uh, I watched them. There was a video on and I watched them make this. You, the lids and the jars you could order, and this is some knobs. You just bought these at Hobby Lobby or somewhere, and then you took paint, that uh, chalkboard paint, and you painted on there. Now, that's not, it has a little rubber seal, but that's not good enough. And it has a little spoon thing in there already. You can get you a little spoon thing and shove in there. And, of course, these are soup beans. I know some of you know what soup beans are. If you're cooking some soup and you want to add a little more something that's a little thin, just get you a handful and put in your soup and let it cook. But we're going to add. We're going to put a cover on this because I think it's too loose. And there we go. Okay. And by the way, this thing I got in the mail, it's a battery. I mean, it's a battery for my phone. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. And it works really good. It's not a fast charge. It charges just as fast as an electrical outlet. Okay, that's too loose. Egg noodle. Normally in these jars, I would shove the label down in the jar because I will forget what's in there but with this here I don't have to so anyway that's my quick tip and I just want to thank all y'all for coming and y'all have a good day bye bye